night. <laughs> Which, at this time of day, as it approaches evening, is a lot cooler than what I had experienced earlier, which was extremely hot. And I like that. I think that we may have to record these in the cool of the day, as Jesus himself mentioned one time that God, our Father, walked with Adam in the cool of the day. And, you know, there's a time in the East when you can get away from the desert heat and they call it the cool of the day and it's a time for before it's dark and while it's still cooled off you can walk and talk and have like the English used to say a constitutional so with us in our evotional we're having our constitutional we're talking to God in the cool of the day and in daily light Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. Whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. The meekness and gentleness of Christ, in lowliness of mind, let each esteem each other, better than themselves. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Be ye kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. He that saith he abideth in him ought also himself to walk, even as he walked, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. O oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turneth their backs before their enemies, and the Lord saith unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel has sinned, for they have even taken of the accursed thing, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. God calls us to minister to one another because at a time when I may be hurting or in need, when I may be fallen or when I may be tripped up in my own sins or iniquities or tra trespasses, that's when a brother comes and it's not that you look at one another and you say, aha, you're in sin, bro. Or you look at each other and you list out all the problems and characteristic flaws that a person may have. But two are meant to be together because then if one should stumble, the other would lift them up. And that's the point of what we do in Jesus is that we are meant to hold one another up in love. We are not meant to cause each other friction or to stomp on someone that's fallen but rather we're to lift them up to the Lord, to be there so that when they need us, when they need that helping hand, not only do they have Jesus on the one side, but they have you on the other. Did you realize that? That's why you have two hands, one to reach out to Jesus and the other to bring a friend. Think of it that way. And if your hand is empty, minister to someone today and bring them along. You might be the one to help, or you might be the one being helped.